The Food and Drug Administration says a number of slimming products from China may contain dangerous substances which can cause brain damage. Joyce Ilas has this report. Ang ano, ang Filipino obsessed sa wheat. Lane, an accounting student, says she was encouraged by her friends to drink slimming coffee to lose weight. Lane narrates she does not regularly drink slimming coffee, but would do so whenever she feels like she is gaining weight. She says she could lose as much as 5 pounds in a week by drinking slimming coffee. Hindi ka nagugutom, pero more on ihi ka, ihi, ihi, ganun lang. Kung tamad ka mag-exercise or ganun, ipiprefer man namin to kasi walang kapagod-pagod, mag-lose weight ka nga talaga. Lane says she and her friends usually buy their slimming coffee in Chinese drug stores in Manila. Lane is just one of the many Filipinos who resort to drinking slimming products to lose weight fast. However, the Food and Drug Administration warns the public of the health risks brought about by smuggled slimming teas, coffee and pills from China. FDA Deputy Director Ronaldo De Vera says a number of slimming products from China tested positive of amphetamine and cybutramine content. Both amphetamine and cybutramine are considered dangerous drugs which can cause brain damage or even death. Drugs, pwede ka mag-overdose nun. Kahit na sir, parang konti-konti lang naman. Oo, oh, kasi ma may ipon yan. Addicting yan, di ba? Katulad ng illegal drugs. Pag paunti-unti ka mag-detect ng shabu, kaya bawal yan kasi uh, mayroong uh, ha ano yan, ad adverse effect dun sa katawan ng tao. Hindi maganda sa kalusugan. Eventually, magkaano yung utak mo, magkakaroon ka ng brain damage. Feel na yan, yun ang... De Vera admits, both amphetamine and cybutramine have slimming effects. He, however, explains they should be taken in with doctor's prescription and should not be mixed with coffee, tea, or other food supplements. May, may drugs na kasi, kailangan mayroong dosage yan, na yung doktor lang nakakaalam kung gaano kabigat yung dosage na kailangan mo. Among the brands of slimming coffee, tea, and pills that tested positive of amphetamine and cybutramine are Leisure 18 Slimming Coffee and Brazilian Slimming Coffee. De Vera says they have already ordered to confiscate these smuggled slimming coffee, tea, and pills. De Vera clarifies that there are still some brands of slimming products which passed the FDA tests. He advises the public to always look for the FDA food registration number to ensure that the slimming product they are buying is safe. De Vera also calls on the public to be vigilant and report to FDA should they see smuggled slimming products being sold in the market. The public may call FDA hotline 807-8275. As for Lane, she says she and her friends are willing to take the risks brought about by drinking slimming coffee. In the feeling ko may 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 hindi maganda maidudulot. Pero kailangan mag-lose weight. Eh. It is human nature to always want to look our best. That is why many Filipinos resort to drinking slimming products. However, the Food and Drug Administration reminds Filipinos that it is not worth it to put your health at risk in the name of beauty. Joyce Ilas, Solar News.